So read the topic, go to the MCQs, practice some questions and come back to the notes itself, which are updated now with the extra information that we could gather from the uh, questions. Hello guys, I am Dr. Alisha and in this video, I am going to discuss with you how you could effectively use the question bank that you have for the preparation of NETS's examination. So as you know that there are multiple ways in which one could use a question bank. So first way is a prospective mode. So prospective mode is like uh, you start with the question bank, practice some questions and then you realize the important parts of that topic and then you go back to your notes and read them and realize ki, oh, okay this was the important part I need to focus on this and like this you have to uh, go through the question so that is a prospective mode the second mode is a retrospective mode in a retrospective mode what one does is first we read the text we read the information that we have and then to brush up the important areas and to realize what is our weakness in that topic and what are the things that we have a tendency to mix and confuse all of that we can realize when we practice mcqs of the topic so read the topic go to the mcqs practice some questions and come back to the notes itself which are updated now with the extra information that we could gather from the uh, questions okay so that is a retrospective mode the third mode is a tutor mode so uh, we've seen people using question banks only for the preparation of entrance examination there are good quality question banks the explanations that are available when you read those explanations you know okay uh, how to rule in and rule out the options given in the questions and uh, with the practice of the mcqs mcqs only you can use the question bank as your tutor and make notes out of the explanation that is a tutor mode and the last mode is a timer mode so in a timer mode you actually create an exam environment it simulates the actual exam which you are going to give and in a fixed amount of time you are practicing uh, or actually giving a test of maybe whatever number of questions 60 150 whatever so that is a timer mode so there, these are the different modes in which you could use it but personally uh, for practicing mcqs i use the retrospective mode i read the notes go to the questions update my notes and then go back to the next topic so that is the retrospective mode now uh, the good news is that prepladder is coming up with the new question bank the updated question bank for NATSS, and this is the question bank 2.0 being released on the 25th of march so uh, this question bank has some very interesting features which i would like to mention here so one of them is that uh, there is active guidance when you click on the explanation of each mcq you'll find active guidance and the explanations in the answers have been taken from the standard textbook that you've been reading. So in my case, they've been taken from Nelson itself. And sometimes what happens is we've gone through those tables, but we don't really realize that what drug was written where. So uh, talking about long QT syndrome and uh, something like uh, a prolongation of the QRS. So sometimes you may confuse ki okay it was QT or it was Q, QRS but and when you're reading through the book or through your notes you actually mix and mix up the drugs but once you practice the question of the same topic you realize okay this drug was there this drug was there so the tendency of getting confused reduces and this is so much more helpful when the explanation has been taken from your standard textbook itself from which the questions are going to be asked in the NEET SS exam. And uh, what we often see is that in our notes the information of one topic is sometimes given under some heading in one unit and somewhere in another unit and once you want to revise you have to open this notebook and then that notebook Oftenly this happens but in this question bank you will find integrated information of one topic in the form of tables and explanations given under that MCQ itself. So this form of revision where you integrate different uh, pieces of information of the same topic in one place is amazing. Now the advantage of having uh, such a comprehensive question bank with MCQs and tests is that like as we know most of us are working while we are preparing for the SS examination and so many times on duties there will be times when you have bits and pieces of free time. So through that period if you could practice MCQs of the topics that you've read the last day and you could actively recall the answers to those so I think it will lead to making a better memory of that. So I think your duty hours 
or if you're not working then if you wake up and for the first half an hour when you're building a mood of studying in in that time you you practice mcqs of the topic that you read a day or two back so it will enhance the memory of uh, those topics question banks like these have been available for the need pg preparation and uh, cet's preparation from a long time but such question banks were not available for the super speciality uh, exam at least and now since they are available and in a good way in a big way it's great to make use of them